Hello! Welcome to a brand new studio vlog. This is Monday, uh, December 7th, and Mondays are usually my light in the mailbox day, but today for my teaching job we have meetings. We're usually off every Monday, which is awesome, but today we have our in-service day for teachers, and so we've just had our staff meeting and now we have to do online mandated reporter training. So I'm going to get started on that. But we do get out early today. We get to leave at two o'clock. So I get to go home and pack some orders and hopefully straighten up my shop space. Um, still haven't got it moved out to the garage, but you guys might've seen in the last video that I've made some progress on the garage studio. And this week, hopefully you'll see some more in this vlog uh, that's yet to come. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and have a good week. Bye. Hey guys, I was just getting ready to pack some orders. It is Tuesday, um, been at work teaching all day and yesterday though i got a delivery of something i've been waiting for for over a month and it's a big goal of mine to make this right now if you follow me on instagram we're in the middle of the big reveal of what it is so i want to show you guys since this will be coming out um probably after the reveal of everything but before it goes on sale so let me show you it is washi tape. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I have designed three new designs of washi tape that's my own artwork. And here's what it looks like. Oh, I love it so much, you guys. This mail time was the first one that I designed. It's actually in two parts. So there's the first part and then that's the end of it. This one here, this is the moonflower design that I have on some stationery. And then this one is also a stationery uh, design. And it's the moon and clouds set. So I am so happy with how it turned out though. The colors are so nice and vibrant. Oh, I love it. I don't know if I told you guys this on the last vlog, but my husband got me a new Cricut for Christmas. So now I can cut twice as fast and restock twice as fast. Woohoo! Hey guys, I am at school and I just realized it's Thursday and I haven't really filmed very much for the studio vlog this week. Yeah. But I did want to tell you that I am getting ready for my washi tape launch on Saturday. I think the I think it's going pretty well on Instagram leading up to it and we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know. My kids by the way are at computer class so I'm in here by myself and it's quiet for like two more minutes. That bell was to uh, send them back so <laughs> It's the night before the big washi launch, and I'm just uh, trying to get some things ready for tomorrow, get everything listed on here, and then I'll just be able to hit the button tomorrow when it's washi time.
it is Saturday, washi launch day, and I got up early just like I thought. Took a shower. I think I'm actually gonna put on some makeup today to cover up these big dark bags under my eyes. <laughs> um, yeah, yesterday one of my kids at school said, Mrs. Newcomb, you have these. <laughs> and I'm like, what? What is it? And she said, you have lines under your eyes. You look tired. <laughs> and I said, yes, I am tired. Thank you for noticing and pointing that out, madam. <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> I was up early and I'm so excited. I've got stuff to do though before all of this. And I say all of this, but now like, like thinking in my mind that like orders are just going to start like coming in fast. But you know what? I was just thinking, like, I, there was a little moment of panic, you know, when you're standing in the shower and you're, like, thinking all the things. <laughs> and there was kind of a moment of panic, like, what if nobody buys anything and this whole week of, like, launch stuff is just, like, for nothing? And I end up with... 300 rolls of washi tape that I don't know what to do with. So, you know, that's a possibility. And so that's kind of been going through my mind. But, good news is, I'm using you guys as a mirror, by the way, propped up here. The good news is, though, that... <clears throat> oh, look! It's me. Oh, yes. That's cool. <laughs> Sorry. Easily distracted. <laughs> okay got my makeup done but i realized that i was literally in mid-sentence when i cut that off i was saying good thing is i have a few orders to do this morning so i think i'm going to make some envelopes because i'm almost out of my I guess most common size envelope that I use to ship my flat items. So I think I'll do that while I wait for noon for the washi launch and clean up in here because ooh, it's still dirty from last time. Remember when I said it was messy last time? Still messy. mean to make that many but I kind of sat down and when I start doing it it's sort of meditative and I just keep going so it's it's kind of like I don't know the rhythm and the sound and you have to I don't know you have to concentrate but at the same time you can zone out and then my mind starts going and I was just thinking like how long is this actually going to be sustainable in my business? <laughs> because it does take a while, but I love doing it. Like, as far as I know, there are no other Etsy shops that that do this, like, sewn handmade envelopes with their orders. And I can't do it with all orders because some of them I have to put in, like, a big bubble mailer because they're too large. But um, most of my orders go out in these. But... I really want to keep doing this as long as I possibly can. Um, but when I start getting like tons and tons of orders daily, it's just not going to be sustainable. But I don't know. I was also thinking while I was um, sewing these envelopes, like how, I don't know. I think as people do, I just spit gross. Um, as people do. 
I was kind of comparing myself to other shops I follow and other artists and you know that sort of thing and I don't know I'm inspired a lot though I'm not it's not a negative comparison necessarily I mean I am thinking about my own business and what I can do better and what I like about what they do with their shops and their businesses and that sort of thing but I don't know I really have to like I had to I have to like tell myself constantly like don't do be inspired but don't try to do things like other people do just because you think they're doing it better it's not necessarily better sometimes it is but sometimes it's just different and it's okay to be different because there are a lot of shops doing similar things but then there's some things that I do that are just uniquely me like they're just my personality kind of put into my business and so I don't know I think that's just kind of a life lesson in general not necessarily for business but you know do the thing that you do best and don't compare yourself to others because even though you might find it to be better there's still stuff that you do the best and the thing that you can do the best is just being yourself I guess so that was totally a Mr. Rogers moment wasn't it I'm so proud okay I have all my listings ready and it's actually a few minutes early but I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get these on just so they're ready right at noon let's see yes publish Okay, wait, oh, these didn't publish. Oh, there they go. Let me see if they're on there. There they are, they're live. Yay. There's all the new merch. So exciting. Okay, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Good morning. So it is now the next day. I fell asleep super early last night, so I didn't get to, um, record an update, but um, I would say launch day was really successful. I had about, I had five orders in the first 10 minutes, which made me so happy. Like I was just sitting there and I kept like Etsy, the Etsy app makes a little cha-ching noise every time there's a sale if you have your volume turned on and it just kept like happening every couple minutes and it like made me so happy oh my gosh you know because I wasn't sure what was how it was gonna go um so I think overall after the first 10 minutes it kind of slowed down I got maybe five more orders the rest of the day and then I fell asleep super early last night because I was worn out but I did break a sales record for the day um, for my shop. So that is awesome. Um, I didn't, I didn't really know what to expect. I don't guess I had really any expectations, but, um, I'm pleased, very pleased with how launch day went. And I'm going to pack those orders today and get them out. It is Sunday, so the post office is closed, but I'll get them out tomorrow. And yeah, if you still want some washi tape, I've still got several rolls so head on over to my shop at lightinthemailbox.com to get some so um yeah i'm gonna wrap the vlog up here i'm gonna do some editing today um it's a dreary cold day out there if you can see behind my plants <laughs> i'm all snuggled up in my blanket but yeah good day for vlog editing and so i hope you guys have a great week and i will see you next week Bye.